This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the middle of the Falcon. And today I'm going to talk about some of my expressions and uh, acronyms. So if you watch my videos, you probably heard me say some weird words and you're wondering what the heck is he talking about? Well, I will explain what those words on the or acronyms mean and also the reasoning behind it. So let's start with the first one, which is ABC. <laughs> uh, that was something I didn't invent. I just heard it from someone else, but then I just started using it. It was actually back in the days when I used Millennium Falcon. So ABC means always be charging. Uh, especially back in the days, it was important to ABC because there weren't that many superchargers or fast chargers out there. So you want to always have enough juice so you can get to the next destination or the next charger. And then over the years, I started making new jokes about ABC because I have to say, yes, over the years, ABC was not that important anymore. But then I found other funny uh, meanings about ABC, like always block charger or always bring kettle or always beat COVID. <laughs> so that was funny. So it's become like a droning joke in my channel now. And of course, I always uh, try to also misspell ABC, but that's the fun part of it. Okay, next one is afterburners. So in uh, most EVs, or pretty much every EV out there, there is a dedicated um, battery heater. And then use the battery heater to heat the battery, obviously. But in a Tesla Model 3 and Y, they started using the motor to run in some inefficient mode to generate heat. And then they have heat scavenging to transfer that heat into the battery. So they don't have a dedicated battery heater. Pretty, pretty smart engineering. And then somehow uh, I just call it the afterburner. I don't know why I call it the afterburners. Uh, uh, I also afterburners because I f first discovered this in the dual motor. So we have two motors. Uh, maybe you can say, yeah, uh, for, for uh, uh, an airplane that uses afterburner, it's a way of getting a nice boost, but it's inefficient. So maybe that's the whole thing with the, the motors is running in inefficient mode. And it might not be the most efficient way of heating at the battery, but at least it gets the work done and we are saving some cost and uh, weight and everything. Well, next one is bailout. So um, uh, when, when I'm traveling somewhere and usually I set the navigation or I, I want to stop and charge at a given place, a fast charger, supercharger, and usually I will also try to arrive with low state of charge because in general, actually pretty much every EV out there, you get the best charging speed when you arrive with low state of charge. But then sometimes I miscalculate because of weather, because of uh, maybe yeah, various reasons, I miscalculate. And then I realize I won't be able to make it to that charger. Then I usually say a bailout. And bailout means that I, I cannot go there. I have to stop somewhere bit before to top up or charge there instead. So that is the meaning of bailout. And the next one that you hear a lot nowadays is Colgate. What the heck is Colgate? Um, actually, I, I can rewind back to, or okay, I can backtrack back to that Colgate actually means uh, that the car is, uh, or the battery is too cold and it's charging too slow. And then that comes from uh, uh, the the other uh, the opposite, which is rapid gate that someone else invented. Uh, rapid gate is actually it was well known in the leaf world that leaf rapid gated because the battery overheated, and then it charged slower. But here in this case, it's kind of underheated. It's, it's cold, and then the, the whole word the meaning of rapid gate, which is like they they kind of try to make it a scandal is again from Dieselgate, derived from Dieselgate, and then Dieselgate was a scandal, you guys all know about that. And then actually the Dieselgate name is then derived from the um, uh, Watergate scandal that was a long time ago. So, <laughs> so nowadays, yes, it's just uh, Colgate. So you guys hear a lot Colgate, Colgate. This is probably good for the Colgate uh, toothpaste uh, brand, but it's not Colgate, it's Colgate. Well, next is um, dinosaur juice. Yeah, uh, I normally don't use it that much, but you guys heard from time to time, so that's kind of funny. But dinosaur juice is actually the name of the fossil fuel you pump it in to run fossil cars. 
And then, yeah, I know it's actually technically not dinosaur juice because the, the fossil fuel comes from uh, uh, usually from uh, plant-based stuff or the fossil, but it's, it doesn't literally come from the dinosaur. We don't pump the juice from a dinosaur and then poop it in the car or it's not, yeah, it's not dinosaur urine or something like that. <laughs> All right, um, and then of course, next um, thing, uh, next word I tend to say is fossil. So. Fossil has many meanings, but in general, it's just a short term of saying fossil car. Some people, they call it ice car. It's actually nicer. It's an internal combustion engine. But for me, that's way too long. So I just say fossil. So when I usually say fossil, in, in general, it means fossil car. But it could also mean a fossil driver. For me, they're all just fossils. Okay, sorry, and some people go, ah, Bjorn, get down, get down from your high horse. Well, I also used to be a fossil, but you know, just take a chill pill, all right? I'm not too serious in the channel. Okay, next word you probably heard from time to time is gangbang. <laughs> Especially people like to gangbang Dumbos and they like to gangbang Alvdal. So that term is when we have lots of people who just happen to go to the same fast charter location uh, instead of diverting the traffic on to other less busy places. So like I mentioned, Dumbos uh, during summer, everyone and the mother just want to gang back Dumbos and queue up there and charge there rather than stopping somewhere else. So yeah, that's gang back. <laughs> I know some of these uh, words, they actually have other meanings like butt plug, yeah. <laughs> but I kind of, yeah, make it. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, next word or next expression you heard is going deep. So um, w when you have a battery and you discharge it to almost down to zero, that it's actually called deep discharging. Yeah, and then I just made a new word which is to go deep because uh, from time to time you need to go deep maybe because you miscalculated. I tried to get uh, to the fast charge a bit around 10% margin, but sometimes I miscalculate and then I arrive with 2-3%. So that's when I'm going deep and also uh, you have to kind of go deep in order to charge faster. Uh, usually, especially Teslas, they will charge really fast, but also if you have a Colgating car, uh, going deep means that you will, in general, despite being, uh, despite having cold battery, you will still get, get okay charging speed. And as long as you get okay charging speed, that helps you build up more heat so you can kind of get out, escape the rapid, uh, sorry, escape the cold gate uh, problem you have. So in a way, you can say that by going deep, you will come faster. <laughs> okay, the next one is hammer it. So again, hammer it can be used in many different ways. So when I say hammer it, it usually means that I want to go fast, drive fast, uh, to get to a destination and maybe in general it could also mean that I don't want to dig around too long and waste time doing stuff so I just want to plug it in fast, charge fast and then go to the next one and then just get hurry it pretty, pretty much mean. but it can also mean to overtake if I hammer someone then I overtake someone and then you get hammered when you get overtaken by someone so many many meanings of hammering but usually that's it and hammer time of course is the time to go schnell and then hammer juice, and I sometimes say, what the heck is that? So when you discharge a battery uh, in general and you go low, you go deep, uh, towards the end you will have uh, slightly less power because that's just the nature of uh, lithium batteries. And then sometimes if I want to hammer it, I want to overtake someone or several cars in one go. Uh, and if the battery is low, then uh, it goes slower, have less power. So hammer juice actually means that when you are charging, I want to charge, okay, I might not want to always uh, arrive with 5%, uh, 10%, maybe if I have time and if the, if the charging goes pretty fast, then I charge a little bit extra so that I will arrive at the next charger with, let's say, 20%, because that means that in case I need to hammer someone towards the end, then I still have plenty of power to go pretty schnell. So that means hammer juice. And the next one is Ladestau. <laughs> so I use a lot of uh, German uh, words like sh Schmutz and Baustelle. And Ladestau is also derived from, from uh, Germ German language at some extent. So Stau means actually congestion in German. Uh, you get stuck and uh, pretty much almost stand still. That's, that's Stau. And then Lade, in many countries, Lade means charging. So Ladestau means charging queue. 
and we've seen that usually when yeah i don't have to explain more but ladder star means charting queue next one is uh, milkman so from time to time i will refer to this milkman uh, this actually happened there was a um, uh, many many years ago when i was traveling uh, with optimus prime my tesla model x with trailer and then after ferry uh, from uh, from uh, stavange at night i came behind this uh, milk truck it was tina truck you know, the transfer milk. And I was thinking, oh, that's a truck. I need to overtake that truck. Normally trucks would be slow. Well, not that guy, not today, son. He was hammering it like crazy. He was going way over 80 kilometers per hour to make it uh, clear. <laughs> so he had really earned uh, the title of the milkman because I, I could overtake him, but I just didn't feel like it because I was already going over the speed limit with the trailer and everything. So that was the milkman. So ever since then, the milkman has been uh, usually a, a fast trucker or maybe a van driver. But in general, if, if I find a trucker that drives fast, then that's the milkman. It could also be a milkman's cousin or something like that. So there's also another variant, which is the coconut milkman, which is uh, the Thai version of milkman. And in Thailand, the truckers over there, the mother truckers, they drive so fast. There are many, many coconut milkmen in uh, Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next expression is ninja. So ninja again has lots of meanings. If I say like a ninja, it means usually if you do something awesome, uh, you could also replace it by saying like a boss, you know? So you, um, you do something awesome, uh, that gives you lots of street credit. You say, oh, like a ninja. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or if, um, if you you uh, you you is a ninja, you know ninja is like a sneaky sneaky little bastard that just goes slip through something unnoticed. So if I, for example, see uh, I'm I'm right to, about to enter some uh, some fast charger and I know that there's only one spot left there at Ionti charger, and then I am behind this this fat e-tron, and then if I overtake the fat e-tron and I get a ninja right in front of him, and then I snatch the last uh, Ionity spot, and then he comes behind me, and then he has to wait. That means ninja. You just slip, you just ninja through the, the police control or something, you know? Yeah, that's, that's ninjaing it. And then um, the next uh, expression is Salzschmutzfest. So again, German, uh, German names here. So it's uh, it's salt okay it means schmutz means dirt it's a german word and then well actually all of these are german words but uh, salt is then salt so we have a salt dirt fest salt schmutz fest so in norway in winter they salt the roads and then everyone who has driven in the nordic countries in winter you know that the the, the cars get so dirty the roads are so schmutzig so then after just half an hour driving the whole car is just full of schmutz salt yeah dirt so that is salt schmutz fest well next word is called um, uh, stream sniper from time to time I will use this name. Again, I didn't invent it. It was actually from a beastie cutie, the guy who plays, uh, well, he used to play StarCraft. I think he quit StarCraft too now. So stream sniper is when I'm live streaming, I have, well, you can see the live pictures, but also have a glimpse running, which is a live positioning report. So people can see my live position. And uh, what some people tend to do is that they will intercept me to some fast charger typically, they know that I will be stopping there to charge. And then they stalk me to that location just to say hello to me. Or I don't know, sometimes some people tend to hang out there and they just wanna have some lunch or dinner with me even. And in general, I don't uh, recommend people to stream snipe me because I'm normally doing some kind of challenge. I'm on the trip, I need to shoot some video. And then I feel like I need to kind of entertain these guys because they were there so but at least that is stream sniper you can also say it's a stream stalker or something and the next is type 1 type 2 and type 3 c discharge so i use this as saying instead of saying uh, uh peeing so uh, type 1 is peeing type 2 discharge is pooping type 3 c discharge is when you have a bad stomach so it's just to 
say it in a nice way, you know, like in Norwegian we say bimelim bumelum. Um, but actually this refers to the, the, the charging plug standard. Type 1 is the one they have in, uh, in parts of Asia and also in US. Type 2 is the one commonly around Norway, I mean, I mean around Europe and also other parts of Asia. And then type 3C is that weird plug they have in France. Yeah, the French, they just have to have their own weird plug, but okay. So that's like, uh, again, uh, usually when I encounter some type 3C uh, plug action uh, for real, like with, back, back in within the Falcons day, that was like bad shit. I was like, oh. So that, that's also what you can say with type 3C discharge. <laughs> Okay, second to last uh, expression is YOLO. So YOLO is not something I invented, at least that, that term. It means you only live once. But I use it um, in some situations. Again, I'm gonna reuse some of the words I explained to you earlier. So if I'm trying to reach a destination, a fast charge or something, and I realize that I miscalculated and I have to go deep, maybe, then I'll figure out, hmm, I tend to say this in the live stream. Do I YOLO it, which means go for it, commit to it, even if it has to go deep or have to go deep, or do I bail out and stop somewhere else before? So that's the meaning of YOLO. You just want to go for it and YOLO it. And then the last uh, word is YOYO. Again, YOYO is just, why well, is the thing, YOYO you know, -yo from the 80s, but uh, YOYOing means that, um, again, I'm going to use other words I've used before. If you have a Colgate in a uh, car, which means a car with coal battery, then uh, some cars uh, doesn't have the luxury of preheating the battery before arriving at the fast charger. So how the heck do you then preheat the battery before arriving? So one way of doing it is actually to accelerate hard and then decelerate the region and then accelerate hard again and then decelerate. You do that for, for about five, 10 minutes before you arrive at the fast charger and that will actually make wonders because it will bring up the temperature quite fast uh, and then because the, the speed is going up and down and up and down so that's why I call it yo-yo so yeah now you guys have heard some of the uh, words I use I try to remember all the words out there maybe there are some words or expressions typical Tesla burn expressions that you heard me say a lot but I forgot about it so in that case please comment and I might make a new video explaining what those words means. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, oh, okay, okay, before I end, which expression is your favorite Tesla burn expression then other than she, but she is not really explaining it. It's more like, yeah. Yeah, but which one is your uh, favorite and then? So I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.